This is one of the few zombie movies worth watching in recent years, and it is also the most successful zombie movie in Korea after Busan Ro. He is the Cursed, which will be released in 2021. When the zombies are no longer a scattered bunch and are well trained with a clear goal, it will be a kind of horrible existence. The story begins with a bizarre homicide. When the man returns home, he finds that the circuitry is inexplicably damaged, and there are signs of someone moving around in the room. The man thought there was a burglar in the house, but when he came to the window to check, a creepy figure suddenly appeared behind him. Realizing that something was wrong, the man turned around and hit the mystery man behind him, but he felt no pain. The mystery man immediately launched a counterattack. He was agile and powerful and quickly subdued the man easily. Immediately after, he bit the man on the neck. The bitten man's body grew disgusting pus bags, fell to the ground, and died on the spot. But the mystery man did not leave. His body began to disintegrate and finally turned into a rotting corpse. Soon after, the police received a report and investigated the scene. But the strange thing is that the murderer who stayed at the scene had obviously been dead for two and a half months. But the body came back to life to kill people, which made the police officers present in a cold sweat. How? In the end, did he come back to life? And for what purpose to kill this man? The police have no clue about this. However, while they were at their wit's end, Jean He, who was being interviewed, received a call from a mysterious man who said he was the real murderer and made an appointment with Jean He for a live interview tomorrow at 2.30 p.m. at a designated place. When the police learned this news, they naturally did not miss the perfect opportunity to catch the murderer. So, under the leadership of Jean He's boyfriend, Song Jun, the police set up a large number of police officers at the location of the interview and prepared to make an arrest. On the next day, the murderer did come as expected. Soon, the interview began, and the man answered all the questions that Jean he asked without shying away from them. Not only did he reveal his name and ID card, but he also revealed that he was a spellcaster who manipulated corpses. He committed the previous night's murder. Jean he would not believe such a ridiculous thing as manipulating a corpse to commit a murder, but the man said that she would believe it soon, because the purpose of his interview was to give a warning. In the next few days, he would commit three more murders, giving details of the places and times and the people he would kill. They were all executives of Siichi Pharmaceuticals, namely Director Minsiap, Executive Director Sang In, and Chairman Sun Nael. Of course, there are ways to stop this, that is Sun Nael. The chairman of Siichi Pharmaceuticals publicly apologized, and it was up to Jean He to judge whether it was genuine or not, and to broadcast it live on the entire network. As soon as the words left his mouth, the man pulled out a dagger from his clothes and held Jean He hostage, trying to use the opportunity to leave the place. When they arrived at the lobby on the first floor, Jean He found a mark on the man's arm, and then, like the murderer at the beginning, his body slowly decayed and turned into a corpse. It turned out that he was just a puppet being manipulated. What is the origin of this strange spell? And why would the manipulator behind it target a pharmaceutical company? Based on these two questions, the police quickly launched an investigation. First, they learned that the spell that could manipulate the corpse was a kind of evil sorcery. Judging from the unique markings in Indonesian writing on the corpse, this witchcraft came from Indonesia, combining the dirt near the corpse with the caster's blood. The corpse could be manipulated to do whatever it wanted. Meanwhile, Song Jun led his men to the top management of Siichi Pharmaceuticals to find out why the murderer had taken revenge on the company. Since the chairman, Sun Nael, has retired from the company, his daughter, Mi Yong, is now at the helm. However, through questioning, they did not get any useful clues, only that the man who was killed at the beginning was also a researcher in their company. Obviously the killer is very purposeful, but he will not target only Siichi Pharmaceuticals for no reason. The company must be hiding behind the secret of unknown. As it turns out, it's a shock when you look into it. In a prisoner's mouth, the police learned that Siichi Pharmaceuticals had used living bodies in inhumane clinical trials to develop new drugs. To earn high compensation, the prisoners recruited more than 100 experimenters for the company on the pretext of part-time work. But after the experiments, all of them died. The experiments were closely related to this incident. As the time for the murder was approaching, the police had set up many special forces in the Siichi Pharmaceuticals building to protect the people on the list. They thought they were safe. But as the time drew near, the killer's planned killings came as scheduled. Jean He, who was broadcasting live from downstairs, turned around and saw a zombie in a gray robe appear in front of her. Immediately after, 
More zombies gathered in uniform in the square downstairs. They were all subjects who died in the experiment and were now manipulated by the murderer to take revenge. Their only purpose is to kill the first list of directors, Minsiep. The special forces saw this and rushed to tighten their position. As the mark appeared on their arms, the zombie army began to move. They were agile and targeted, ignoring civilians and armed forces. And in an instant, they broke through the defenses and poured into the building like a tidal wave. The Minciup upstairs was instantly terrified at the sight of the scene, and the armed forces had no choice but to shoot to stop it. But the bullets raining down on these zombies did not help at all. They fell down and immediately got up again, broke through the last defense, and ran toward the stairs. <laughs> The police could not do anything about it. They could only turn off the lighting of the building and try to stop the zombies while escorting Minshop out of the building from the escape elevator. But the moment the elevator doors closed, the zombies were already in front of them. You know this is a few dozen floors from the building. This speed is too amazing. However, the zombies looked at the leading Minciup and immediately stopped in their tracks. Because they have a more direct and faster way to go downstairs. Just see the zombies leap one after another. The huge impact didn't hurt them. And they quickly got up again. A few executives, escorted by police, had just reached the underground parking lot. The zombies rushed out from the stairwell. At the critical moment, Gene he drove over a zombie in time to give them a chance to go away. But what they didn't expect was that these zombies could also drive. A large number of zombies drove away from the roadside cab and soon followed the trail to catch up. In this way, the two sides began a fierce chase on the highway. With their undead bodies, the zombies used suicide to try to stop them, although it was lucky to be dodged by Song Jun's superb driving skills. After entering the tunnel, the zombies used encirclement tactics and directly blocked Song Jun's car in the middle. Then, a zombie exited the cab and started to attack their car. The windshield soon shattered under the zombie's fierce attack. Some of the zombies took the opportunity to break the window and enter. Song Jun rushed to shoot, but they could not shake it off. After a lot of resistance, Song Jun's car managed to get rid of a large number of zombies, but the only one left attacked the driver. Just as the car leaves the tunnel, it stops because the driver is infected with the virus, followed by zombies swarming around him. According to the murderer's plan, they only wanted to kill Min Stop. So Min Stop was dragged out of the car and caught alive by a group of zombies. After completing the task, the zombies looked straight at Sang In, the executive director of the car, as if to tell Sang In that he was the next target. Subsequently, these zombies have decayed and fallen to their knees in place. In the process of fighting against the zombies, Song Jun was unfortunately caught by the zombie right hand, but the infection is not particularly serious. In the hospital after some treatment out of life threatening, after this incident, Sang In knew he would be next, so he approached Sun Ael, the board chairman, hoping that Sun Ael would apologize live according to the killer's instructions, but to his surprise, Sun Ael refused immediately on the grounds of the company's future, but looking at Sang In's frightened face, he said he would discuss it with his daughter Mi Yang. Sang In had no choice but to leave, and just as he reached the door, he met Mi Yang, who had returned. At this moment, Sang In finally understood that the company was no longer under the control of Sun Ael but Mi Yang in front of him. The clinical experiment was also planned for Mi Yang to make more money. This Mi Yang is complex, and the police side in order to find the real killer, once again found the prisoner. This time the prisoner provided a new clue. He said that shortly after the death of the subjects, an elderly Indonesian man approached him and told him that his daughter had disappeared after working part-time at CHE Pharmaceuticals. But then the prisoner is only responsible for recruiting people. These people specifically in the company what happened to him is not clear. So the prisoner gave him the phone number of his contact at CHE Pharmaceuticals. After that, the contact person disappeared along with the 100 corpses. According to the investigation, the prisoner said the contact person, is the interview with the reanimated corpse. Apparently the real culprit is the old man from Indonesia, now only to find him to end all this. In the meantime, Sang In, who was about to die, suddenly found them and confessed what he knew for the sake of his own life. It turns out that the human experiment was not to create a new drug to save lives but to research a biochemical weapon to kill people, which unexpectedly happened. Now, Sang In cannot care so much. He handed over the list of experimenters, hoping that the police could end it as soon as possible. Shortly after Sang-in left, Jean he suddenly thought of a problem. 
Since this evil spell requires soil from the place of death, these experimenters died in the former institute of Siichi Pharmaceuticals, so the older man from Indonesia must have been there. Thinking of this, the team then set off, and because of the accident of the experiment, the institute has long been abandoned. After a careful search, they found an eerie scene in a room. The room's walls were covered with huge patterns that looked incredibly scary. Could this pattern be related to the manipulation of corpses? Just when the two men were wondering, they suddenly heard an unusual noise. They rushed to find the sound, but as they walked, Gene he realized something was wrong behind them. However, it didn't end there. As more zombies followed, the two of them ran away, but the zombies were too fast, and Young Su was knocked out by the zombie who caught up with him. The zombie's neck also grabbed Gene He. At the critical moment, a figure came running to save Gene He. It turns out to be Gene He's sister. So Gene, who, like the older man from Indonesia, is also a spellcaster. It turns out that So Jean was once haunted by evil spirits, so she went to Japan to find a way to break it. Who knows that she danced in Japan for two and a half years, but nothing worked, so she went all the way to a temple in China. She was instructed by a senior monk, although she also did not find a way to break, but learned to manipulate the evil spirits of the spell. In this way, she accidentally became a spellcaster, sensing that his sister was in danger. She came to the rescue, so Jean just touched the cheeks of the zombie with both hands. The zombie's body began to twist and finally twisted itself into a twist. Seeing that the rest of the zombies were coming after them, the three of them rushed to escape. Before the zombies caught up with them, they hid in a laboratory. So Jean took out a special brush with a calm face and drew a pattern on the floor in a few seconds. She used her bloodied fingers to press the ground, and a wall of invisibility slowly emerged. But Young Su, fending off the zombies, didn't have time to get inside. Seeing that the zombies were about to break through the door, he had to hide under the table. The zombies come in and don't find the two sisters. But Young Su, hiding under the table, attracts the zombies' attention to save him. So Jean has to venture out. Although she is very powerful, but it is outnumbered. After solving a few zombies, soon fell into the wind. Young Su tries to help but is thrown away. But Jean he was able to help out in time and knock down the zombie. So Jean took the opportunity to touch the zombie's cheek and used the same method to finish the last zombie. When the trio escaped from the institute, it was already the next day, but to their surprise, Sang In, who was under great stress, chose to commit suicide. Meanwhile, Sun Ael also agreed to make a public apology, but his apology was not sincere at all. Just a few perfunctory words and then hastily dismissed. This will not stop the killing but will make the murderer even angrier. Meanwhile, the captain in the police station, after investigating the list of experimenters, finally found the daughter of the old man from Indonesia. He immediately sent the information to Jean He who was apologizing live. When Jean He saw the message, she felt a chill because the girl was her assistant. It turns out that just a few days ago, Jean He interviewed the girl manipulated by the older man from Indonesia at the company and became her assistant. On the other hand, the police who remained at the institute and searched for her found the older man's lair with the help of So Jean. The older man has taken off his disguise and directly manipulates his daughter to question Jean He. Looking at Sun Ael's insincere chatter on stage, the older man was furious. The lights in the studio flickered on and off. He manipulated his daughter's body and then walked towards Sun Ael. The others tried to stop him, but the older man had lost his mind and was determined to make Sun Ael pay with his life. Sun Ael and Mian fled, but they were stopped halfway. As she slowly reached her hand out, her body suddenly began to rot. On the other side, it turned out that So Jean interrupted the older man's spell at a critical moment, allowing Sun Ael to escape. At this moment, the older Indonesian man shed tears of resignation, not expecting that. In the end, he not only failed to kill his enemy himself but also failed to obtain even the simplest apology for the tragic death of his daughter. However, it didn't end there. Mion, the person who started the whole thing, came into the room where her father was hiding. Sun Ael could never have imagined that he had escaped the revenge of his enemies but not his own daughter's poisonous hand. To get rid of all the witnesses, Mi Yang removes a finger of the girl with toilet paper. When Sun Ael wasn't looking, she cut his face. Soon Sun Ael fell to the ground, infected with the virus. When the police arrived, Mi Yang pretended to cry in pain. Unbeknownst to her, everything was caught on camera by the surveillance equipment. Before the interview, they installed a camera on Sun Ael's chest and broadcast the whole thing live. 
This means that what she just said and the act of killing her father with her own hands have been made public, the evidence was now overwhelming, and Mi Yang was arrested on the spot and punished, and all that the old Indonesian man did for his daughter and all the innocent experimenters finally came to a perfect end, 